Hey everybody, hopefully uh, you're up to speed on what we're doing here. If you're not, they're just tutorials for piano. Uh, and I'm going to teach you chord shapes and all that with the assumption that you, you probably do know, but if you wanted to learn how to play piano, this might be one way to do it. Not very well. Uh, and even if you were ultimately successful and could play it just as well as I could, you'd be as good as me, which is not very good. This brings us to the present. Our song right now is literally, which is... It's not a metaphor to say... That song? It's a fun song. And we're going to play it in C minor, which is how it's played in the show. And it's played in C minor inverted thus, where it goes G and C and then E flat in that shape, right? What that allows us to do is because we're doing this really cool sound, um, those sounds that you hear, and you, you, they show up everywhere, uh, operate on the root moving down on a semitonal basis while the third and fifth stay in the same place. So you could play the exact same thing in the original formation of C minor if you wanted to, which would be like this. But that just gets increasingly difficult to do. I like this one because it's just moving your index finger. So, while that's happening, this one is just following what this finger is doing. In fact, it's leading. And that little device is actually the operation behind the entire song, as you'll see in a moment. But it starts that way. Uh, so it would be C minor, and then C minor in parentheses B, which refers to where your octave is, your root note. Uh, and then C minor in parentheses B flat, C minor in parentheses A. But for me, it's just G, G. It's not a metaphor to say. And then you go to an A flat, which is these three notes. And I'm feeling inverted B flat, which are these three notes. Fine, and everyone back to C minor. Died. Several times in the song I do. That's just G. So here's how your first part goes. It's, well, actually, it goes. It's not a metaphor to say. I'm feeling fine and everyone died was just A flat, B flat, C, uh, or C minor. So, I'm feeling fine and everyone died. We're going to do those exact same three chords again backwards. And I don't even know why. Right? Now the next part is very similar to the thing, but it's operating on a different scale. So, you're here. Your hand is here. You're doing an A flat. So your thumb is on an A flat note. You're going to go A flat. F, and then resolve with an E flat. And I'll walk you through that. So it's. And then your E flat, which is these three notes, but I play it inverted like this. Okay? So I'll play it half speed. It's not a metaphor to say. for the not a miracle to, uh, metaphor to say trapped alone or helpless and then you get to the solo which you can play or not play I actually did takes where I didn't play it but I think the one that's in the movie has it so I'll show you how to do it after I drink more soda uh, the actual melody is nah not quite So just, you know, uh, but solo instead, so. Right? 
then the uh, two little fast verses are that exact same thing again in uh, G minor, then F minor, which I don't actually invert into this shape for some reason that I can't quite explain. So those two chords are G minor, where this one's going down, and F minor, which are... So it goes... And I always thought the songs I wrote were generic or worse, because I couldn't pick my mind without no dramatic verse. Now when I'm doing these, since you already understand the precept there, and I don't really have to show you any more of that, one thing I like to do with that part is to kind of give it one of these. Which is exactly the same thing, only you're kind of giving it some English, so I'll do it real slow.